from all couture creations are shaying down the runway to high-tech designs, there was something fresh and innovative for all the fashionistas turning out for New York Fashion Week. High-end designer Naeem Khan presented his spring-summer 2025 runway collection. What was the inspiration? Wicked, in one word, but also from my travels to Sicily and very inspired from Sicily. I love Sicily. It's the ocean, is the Baroque. American couturier Dennis Basso showed off his new line of furs and gowns loved by celebrities and socialites. And Bajli Mishka says they found inspiration for their ready-to-wear collection from a yacht belonging to former First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy and her second husband, Greek tycoon Aristotle Onassis. While the duo downplayed the importance of technology in their creative process, we now we're going to tell the AI program that's going to give it that that bad little bit good artisanal feeling yet. But we're all thinking looking at it, we just haven't found it yet. Grace Ling, presenting only her second runway collection, says high tech is a tenet of her designs. I would say technology is very integral to the way we developed, um, like especially our metal trims, our 3D printing, like shaping of the biomorphism. We can like iterate as many. Uh, different um, designs and then we only make the final one instead of just making a bunch and wasting it. But she believes haute couture and high tech don't have to compete, rather both can be complementary. The amount of craft I would say does not change, it's just that technology allows us to be more sustainable and it helps us to create this like um, amazing shapes in a more just like less wasteful way. It's not just high-end designers taking over New York and turning the city into a fashion mecca. Up and coming, less familiar names are also grabbing the spotlight. The mother daughter pair behind rising fashion label Maui by Lolita say high tech isn't on the radar when it comes to their designs. I don't think we need AI. AI is something we use more so on the back end just to help if we need to. But on the creative side, I think the, the two of our brains together, we're we more than. The world. We're, we shut out the world. We're more than pow powerful enough to, to, you know, design the clothes. Instead, they say it's their forward thinking, vibrant colors and prints and high energy music that appeal to their youthful clients. Event musician Sean Chaloram agrees, saying it's not high tech, but individuality and innovation that are key to shaping the future of fashion. At the end of the day, you know, our generation, the newer generations, we are the ones who are going to be taking control of the world, you know, and it's our time to do our part and really set things straight. Karina Mitchell, CGTN, New York.